Hi, I'm Real Genetic Demon, and this is What's the Tape, Season 18, Volume 10. Yes, it is the season finale when I take two weeks off from What's on the Tape because it takes a fair amount of production value. So, um, and that and the fact that I get to record some other stuff in between, so we've got other stuffs for the other times if you really like watching my videos. Anyway, so the choice was, uh, was there for you at the beginning of the season. You had a choice between the Dizzy Excellent Adventures. This was one I rescued from a lady who was uh, trying to sell it in CEX for, um, for, for, for anything, realistically. And I gave her a whole five pounds for it and it's really destroyed and it's really it's broken it's not the best but i love it all the same and, and i'm not one of these people who's going to go chasing after another copy just because it's there the tapes are there the instructions aren't and it's a bit destroyed i mean the tapes are there look i will show you there tapes are there and a bit in the back with the whiskey and things are there so it's there it's just it just mis destroyed I, I, but i don't care i think it's great i think it's great or the cartoon collection i can't remember who sent this to me but somebody sent this to me i'm sure they did um but yeah the cartoon collection so so um there was a, there was a choice here there's a, it's a bit of a bittersweet ill for uh, um, one of my other you know one of my friends uh, um dave uh, plays retro games uh, badly Bertle. he's not a fan of dizzy but either way we go here we get all dizzy or one dizzy but what did you choose da, 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 was the cartoon collection which is quite surprised me actually i thought you might have gone and punished him with this one but uh no you've only punished him with one dizzy game this one's got um as we can see here we've got cj's adventures you know slightly magic spike in transylvania and a seymour in hollywood you know seymour one's quite expensive nowadays actually is it the techno cop one that he's got that's really expensive or 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 um i don't know what he is is he a spud or something like that is he there at the top i don't know what he is but anyway we've got those we've got the original dizzy we've got spike in transylvania we've got cj's elop and antics slightly magic and uh seymour goes to hollywood so we've got a, we've got a whole selection of codemasters um classic um, um budget titles i don't even know if there's instructions to this actually Oh, there is. Look, there's destructions and they're on the same tapes. So i'm gonna have to rewind a few of those anyway without further ado I'm going to get this into a tape drive. Right, the tape is in the drive, so we won't go down to basic and load the dip because I think this Seymour Hollywood, I mind you saying that, better check actually, to be honest, on the instructions. I think Seymour Goes to Hollywood um, is... He's 128k, I think. What's the loading instructions for it? I'm trying to find the loading instructions. Oh, there's the helplines. Do you remember those helplines? The 0898 numbers, where you'd phone them up. It cost you 44, 46p a minute, to, or 44 minute other times to, to actually um, to actually get some instructions on how to beat particular games. So there was like spectrum lines and all kinds. That was kind of cool. Um, where are we? Uh, where is it? Seymour Spike, uh, you need to select 48k mode. I lie. Enter load. Hang on. Press load. And select. Oh no, only 48k for uh, for uh, for Dizzy. So Seymour is definitely the uh, the tape loader. So we'll go with the tape loader for Seymour. Here we go. So I don't know why I've done this order. It's like back to front on the front cover anyway. So uh, the other thing I wanted to know about Seymour. This is the, the interesting thing I want to know about Seymour. Is what is he? Uh, Seymour Superstar. Um, C, uh, sorry, Superstar Seymour is the is a Hollywood debut. It makes movies. Meets frightening Frankenstein. Evil Ding the Merciless, um, Bash, the Big King Bong, and Rick Brace. True Love. Um, uh, yeah, okay. So, I don't know. I don't know what this is. This is Big Break in there. Uh, he turned up for a blockbusting movie. Didn't tell you what he is, though. He's like a little spuddy thing, isn't he? I've got his controls, though, so at least we know what to do with that. So, we've got X, ZX, Space to Jump, and then to pick up an object. Basically, it's... He's he's like a little he's a little slight slightly little dizzy kind of esque character but not dizzy he's 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 sort of um it's he's like the the evolution of dizzy maybe he's just maybe he's just a bunch of scrambled egg instead of actually being a, a being a being a creature I think it's maybe scrambled egg possibly I don't know could be 
could be a scrambled egg. So, so yes, there we go, Seymour. Oh, I love this, because this is where they started doing adverts as well. I mean, <laughs> it wasn't bad enough that we got all these loads, but we now we get an advert because we're getting towards the end of the generation for, for, for Codemasters, and basically the budget title for the Spectrum is sort of going the way of the dinosaur the dinosaur and sort of with same with a lot of other things at this point i'm sure this is a 91 or 92 game it's really really late in the day yeah there's seymour at the movies there there's um elephant antics there's dizzy panic there's kamikaze i've got kamikaze actually uh, dizzy and magic land wacky darts um uh, oh, in fact look at that codemaster and big red software uh, big red software so so there's the there's, kind of this is the thing it was getting to that point where that these games were becoming Oh, loading. See more at the movies. Um, we're coming... Oh, look at that. I mean, tell you what. Bit cheeky there. You've got Robocop. You've got you've got E.T. You've got Indiana Jones. You've got Frankenstein. And you've got Conan the Barbarian, I'm guessing, at the bottom there. Not entirely sure how you got away with that. Uh, back Even back in the day, that was pushing it a bit, Codemasters. I know there was a lot of stealing went on, but really, you're actually just posting actual movies onto the whole thing. And there's Seymour. Um... Is he an egg? I don't think he's an egg. He's a something. He's like an egg white. Oh, he's a marshmallow, maybe. Two marshmallows stuck together. Uh, with feet and hands. No, at least he's not got boxing gloves like, like Dizzy. I have no idea what he is, to be honest. I haven't played this one. I know I haven't played this one, so I'm quite looking forward to it. Anyway, I've got coffee. I hope you've got coffee. I got accused of being old the other day because I like Dow Egg Buds. I make apparently that's an, that's an old person's drink. Drink. I don't care. I like it, so I'm going to drink it now. I still want that uh, sponsorship when you're available, uh, Mr. Dow and Mr. Egbert. I'm still up for it. I will drink your coffee all day long if you if you provide sponsorship. All I actually want is coffee. More coffee, please. But anyway, right here we go. Mm. Mm. Oh, that is good. Oh, that's a good cup of coffee. I love that coffee. It's not in a flake mug today, though. We're in a we're in a, um, a a dairy milk mug at the moment. It's a funny thing, isn't it? I kind of see them in charity shops, so I tend to buy them when they've got they've got commercial branding on them, and then just use them because they're usually quite nice mugs, to be honest with you. The only ones that are really crappy, though, is that they've got smaller over time. So, do you remember when you used to get an Easter egg and you used to get a mug with it? You remember that, or you used to get a breakfast set with it? Nowadays, they don't make them the same size. They're like smaller versions of those. So so if you get one of those mugs, they're like half the size of the original mug you used to have when you used to get a decent-sized mug with your, with your thing, with your, with your Easter egg you thing. Your Easter egg. We used to, yeah, Easter eggs. Um, yes, Kinder Surprise. We'd, let's get on with that one for a second. Kinder Surprise is not allowed in the United States because it's too violent because it contains plastic toy parts that could choke a child. Unlike a gun which could kill one. But that's fine. Guns are okay. Kinder Ed are deadly. We all know this. It's the same thing. I always found it interesting when it came to classification of weapons within even in the UK United Kingdom we have a we're we're quite good with classifications, apart from possibly that of the flick knife, which is kind of in the same classification as nuclear weapons. I don't know, you know, if you're going to carry a flick knife, you might as well have a bomb in your pocket as well at the same time. So it's kind of a weird, weird classification, that one. I remember that one from, from years ago when I used to do a little bit of, uh, little bit of um, target shooting. And, um, it's just one of those things that stuck in my mind. I don't know how true it is, but it certainly was a, it was a very high classification for the, for, the, for the flick knife, I guess. I suppose with um, rising knife crime in, in London, which is I, I bizarre. What is with knives in London? Really? Honestly? Don't really get it. I suppose it's a replacement for guns, then, isn't it? Really, I suppose guns would be worse. But, but um, yeah, a lot of knives. Really weird. I don't, I don't understand that one. Really, don't understand that. One. I, funnily enough, in my cupboard, talking of um, branded things, weird and wonderful branded things, um, we have got, um, we've got uh, the 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 2012 Olympics um, um, Coca-Cola thingy mug that was there. That was quite nice glass that's it my wife's just shouting in the background she's 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 doing she's doing the family ironing because because she's been busy this week painting everything the dog's painted the kids are painted everything's painted she painted herself it's been great she's had a great time anyway um but <laughs> indiana jones though there's a new movie isn't there i don't i don't know i don't i'm 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 a little scared realistically i mean the the, the is it going to be any good? Is it the Dial of Destiny or something like that? Is that what it's called? 
a lot of old pictures of uh, of Harrison Ford reduced in age via sort of the the magic of the of the, the art department and CGI. Yeah. I think they could have just left it, couldn't they? They didn't need to do the Crystal Kingdom. That was pretty bad. Uh, Crystal Skull, was it? Crystal Skull? Yeah, whatever it was. They didn't need to do that. Um, yeah, and they didn't really... Need to... How old is he now? Is he 80-something odd? 80-odd 80 years old? I'm not saying he shouldn't be acting, but I'm not sure you should be doing an action action movie with a with an 80-year-old. He's going to break a hip, isn't he, at some point? That's, that's what's going to happen. So it's a very odd one, isn't it? I mean, they got away with it with with um, um, with the, the 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 Star Trek Picard because they just accepted that they'd all got older, and some of them had increased in ranks and whatever else it is. But they weren't exactly action heroes. They were all there was a whole point about their you know cracking a hip kind of thing. Literally was literally was in that whole thing. So so they kind of got away with it. I don't know how you're going to get away with that in Indiana Jones. Funnily enough, I watched Conan the Barbarian looking down at the uh, bottom sort of uh, left-hand corner there next to the Codemasters thing. I watched um, Conan the Barbarian the other day. I, it's actually really good. One thing I always loved about that, the one little fact is that, you know, there's a little wheel. If you've seen the movie, um, Arnold's character, Conan, um, uh, uh, grows his big big strapping muscles by the fact that um, he, he pushes this sort of yoke round and round in circles um, endlessly until he becomes like he's 30 odd years old or whatever else, endlessly pushing this thing around to grind, I, I, I guess bring water up or grind something, I can't remember if it was water or grinding something, but he walks round and round and he basically outlives all the other children all the other children die that are on the wheel and don't survive and he, he grows to be a big strapping sort of barbarian-esque people but but the, the truth of the matter was that that wheel that they put and they don't trade was so well balanced that um it basically required the lightest of touches to move it around so all he was doing was pushing around nothing there was no weight involved at all he had to pretend it was heavy there was some great acting there great acting by 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 arnie he had to pretend it was heavy while he pushed it around so uh yeah it's a good long movie that one was it james earl jones played the the, the snake dude i think he did didn't he those were the days weren't they they were the days Oh, are we there? Oh, we're there. Hang on to your to, to your the, the big red software. That's where the big red comes from because they made it. See more at the movies. I'm gonna drink coffee. Mm. This one has a dizzy feel to it for for sure. This really has a dizzy feel to it. Why is he jumping up and down like that? It's just random. What the hell is he? At least he jumps properly though. He doesn't do a silly roll. He just does a jump. We can jump on the clouds, though. Is it demonstrating that we can jump on the clouds? I thought there'd be some music. For a 128k game, I thought there'd be music. I don't know. Did you think there'd be music? I thought there'd be music. Right, so uh, we're with with our Megastar 1 vehicle. What the hell? Oh, you can't cross the road. Those are cars driving the wrong road, the main road. Yeah, they definitely die. I thought I'd just check that. So got, I've arrived. Oh, there is music. Bit of AY music. Nice. Jump over there. I'm breaking in. What's he going to say? The studio entrance. Hello. Oi. We only let movie stars in here. But I'm Seymour. Nah, you look nothing like him. You see my, my my impression of him is clearly Cockney uh, um, working in in uh, in Hollywood. I don't do. Apparently, it sounded more like it was in Yorkshire. Um, <laughs> right, so hang on. Can I bounce up the car? Right, I'll, hang on. How am I going to get in there then? This is going to be a short game if I can't work out how to get in there. And I can't jump. Oh, I've got hit, hit again. Ah, I entered something there. Did I enter the car? Ah, I entered the car. I'm in the car now. Ah, I need some sunglasses, clearly. A pair of star sunglasses. Awesome. Right, okay. Can I wear them? Uh... Some other stuff here. There's doors to get in and out, I'm guessing. What's this? It's a hand. 
What the hell have I got a hand for? There's the accelerator for the car. So it must be st sunglasses I require. How do I put the sunglasses on, though? Come on, Seymour, get out of here. Yeah, we got into the car, so I pressed enter to get in the car. Can I, can I be... Nothing like him. Hello, Mr. Seymour, can I have your autograph? Of course you can. I didn't know you. I, I, I'd have recognised you without... I don't think I'd wrecked you without those glasses. There we go, so they've got the glasses on. Here's the receptionist. I'm here for my interview. I'm just going to jump on the desk and talk to you. Hi. Hi. Hi there, Pippa. Why are you looking so glum? Go away. Pippa's very glum lady. All right. It's a pair of star sunglasses. Yes, I know. I'm going to pick up that. Ugh, it's a hand. Uh, Pippa's very glum. I'm not going to jump up there because I can guarantee that's going to kill me. Is that a mirror? What's this do? It doesn't go up and down. It's got two buttons marked K and M. Right, okay. It's not working though, is it? There's my star couch. Um, oh, I quite like it actually. It's better than I thought it was going to be. I thought it was. I, I, I don't know what I was thinking actually. Studio, back lot. Studio door's locked. So I'll go that way. Let's go to the back lot. There's a man there, look. In his underpants. Ugh. What did you say? Ugh. Let me pass them, Seymour. Ugh. Sorry, I don't understand. It's Tarzan. Backlot Tarzan. Why does Tarzan not want a hand? Oh, we've got an energy bar as well at the top of the screen. Not to go to go with our three lives. I don't find this jumping very good. No, I can't jump up that. I was hoping I could jump up the top of there, but I don't know why I want to jump up the top of there. No reason to. Uh, can I go this way? Oh, I can. What's this? It's a wooden mallet. I'm not sure what I want to do with the wooden mallet. I need, I'll keep my star glasses. What's in there? It's locked. Right, okay, let's keep going. What we got here? This looks like cheese. Oh, it's, a, uh, it's, it's so I can speak to Tarzan. I can speak to Tarzan with this. There we go. I'm kind of lost. Maze of Studios. Oh, no. Oh, I'm a bit lost. I want to speak to Tarzan. Oh, no. I'm lost. Did say a maze of them, didn't it? I'm going to just keep going this way. Maybe I'll get out. Oh, I've dropped I've dropped it. I've got a, I've got a manual to speak to, to Tarzan, but I can't do that. If I can't get out of here. There's the mallet. Do 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 <coughs> Hmm Don't know I try this one here as a mallet. I'm going to see me going in circles here. Let's push this one here. Let's go. Let's go through this one. Keep pressing enter to go through these. Uh, how do you get out of this place? Um, oh, this isn't much fun. I wonder if I can go that way. And then maybe this way? There we go. Oh, amazing. Right, okay, let's go talk to Tarzan. I think we can go past Tarzan now. We were able to speak to, speak to him. Go away, enemy of Tarzan. 
I want to say I'm Seymour, but I'm Seymour. Hang on a second. Uh, I think. I see. I need to some help with my punctuation. Right. Okay. I don't know why that's a problem. It's not bad, actually. It's not. It's not what I was expecting. It's not bad at all. It's. They were a bit what they were. I would call a bit generic and a bit samey towards the end of their their their, their games. But um, if I press K, M. Well, no good. It's no good. These things never work. Marked K and M. Oh. He's got a big grin on his face when he speaks, by the way. Have you noticed? I did a moment ago. Um, that's a shame. Yeah, it's quite good. Yeah, I, d I don't know what the wooden mallet's for. It's maybe to hit uh, Pippa in the head with. Is this your dictionary? Ah! Ah! There we go! It's just giving us the... It's pronounced the same way. So I've helped Pippa out. I didn't realise Pippa would want a dictionary. I suppose it was the uh, 90s, wasn't it? So so Pippa probably still didn't have a... A what? A whacker plaster, apparently, for Timmy Mallet. That's what Pippa would... Oh, when... Apparently you get your answers wrong on whack Tim's whacker day. Oh. Oh, wait. Thank you. Oh, we got we got through. And you get a whacker plaster, apparently. My wife gave me really important information here. Let's, uh... Oh, hang on. What have we got in here? Uh, this way, I think. Here we go. On top of this cabinet. On the top of here. I've got a T-shirt now. What's this T-shirt do? Gosh, a leather jacket. Oh. I've got a leather jacket now. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with the leather jacket, but but it's very important I've got a leather jacket. And we go a bit further on. Uh-huh. Uh what we got here? It's a leg. I am build. Oh, this is building Frankenstein, isn't it? If I've got a hand and an arm, a uh, leg... This is pretty good, actually. I'm going to recommend this one. If you can find a copy of it, or find a copy of the cartoon collection, um, it's worth having. The problem with Codemasters is that it never gave um, anybody the rights to, to to duplicate that. This is a very much a Dizzy-related sort of area, isn't it? Um, the rights to sort of reuse their games or whatever else it was. They didn't they didn't, didn't release that uh, that uh, that. Uh, um, those rights unfortunately so so it's a bit sad but uh, but basically um you know the you you have to kind of own it to be able to play it technically i'm sure that you people could and out there could find a uh, a way to do it if you wanted to if anybody wants to do it they they could certainly find it and you nice people there um you could definitely do it it's a leg i'm gonna get my leg it's quite good, actually. There's not the, the kind of dangers that I would normally ex associate with this one. It's not too bad, actually. On to the huts. There's a dog tag there. Lots of stuff going on. High, isn't it? Oh, deadly pet them thing. There's a bolt, some bolts there, though. I'm assuming this thing comes at me if I... Yep, it does. Inside the treehouse that's going to come at me. Let's go this way. Let's... Can I get to that one? If I... 
Oh no! Oops. Oh, it didn't die. I really expected to actually die there. That was a long jump. So the backstage lots is full of huts and trees. That's a very dizzy esque coming up now. I want to see what's in the next room. I've died. Of course I did, because you can't. Nobody can swim. That's quite good. I quite like that one actually. Right. What's on the other side of this tape? We got. Another, we got another side. Side. Is everything else on the other tape? Uh, CJ's mad, uh, elephant and things. Oh, they're all on the other tapes. Right. Okay. Well, let's uh, let's get the let's rewind this one. That was a monster tape, by the way. That 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 Seymour one was a real monster of a loader. Um, that's quite good, actually, though. I quite like that one. Quite like that one. Um, right. Let's uh, let's rewind and and this one and and get the worst one out of the way for those people who don't like it. The worst one, the worst possible one. I've never been a fan of ET, by the way. I'm gonna I'm gonna offend many people by saying I didn't like ET. ET Fawning Home. Not. I don't know. I. I I was I was tarnished by Star Wars. So, you know, Star, Star Wars was the thing for me, and then you got ET, and it's like, yeah, it's not Star Wars, is it? Yeah, where's 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 ET's run on there? The 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 Death Star it ain't gonna happen, is it? He's there with his chubby little legs and his and his and his and his glowing finger. Just didn't wash it very often. <laughs> He's making his new film. I still don't know what he is. I think there's some dodgy things going on with the titles and some of these, you know. I do I do think there are some dodgy titles going on here. Right, so this is the only one we need to go to Loaded Dit for. Because it's the old Dizzy. Um, the very first Dizzy, which didn't have actually the most... The, well, just didn't have the nicest cover, realistically. It was all right. It wasn't fantastic. And, the, and I always remember the same things. It's always the same things. It's always the grease gun on the uh, on the on the wagon in uh, in the cave, and they had to kind of guess what things with went with what. And it was it was it was all right. You know, we quite liked it. It was a budget title. We, 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 it was it was it was worth every penny. It got scored high marks, and it 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 gave everybody it gave every, most people some enjoyment. Apart from the rolling sort of um, jumping thing on it, but but to be honest with you, it was a pretty good game. It, it did what it was meant to do. It was a action adventure. It, it was a platformer. It had a story to it. It had a main protagonist. It was one of the the sort of the the, the you know the 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 the, 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 the loveys of the uh, the eight bit generation, if you want to if you want to put it that way. He was he was he was well loved. Somebody put a poster the other day. I think it was uh, I think it was. Um, Tez, if you've come across his channel, Tez does a lot of things. He's, you can tell, it, tell it's Tez's because it's it's usually Star Wars figures on a yellow background. He's very good at doing Star Wars figures on a yellow background. And he commented the other day about, uh, oh, he was asking a question about um, uh, Horace, whether he was the first sort of true 8-bit hero. And I, I guess he probably was one of the first, if, if not the first. I can't think of anybody earlier than that, to be honest with you. Was it? We could could you have gone with, you know? I don't know what the man in Pit Mount Pitfall is because Pitfall kind of got a, dupe, a second, didn't it? Got a second thing. I think I think to be a mascot, you have to have a run of at least a few games to be any kind of mascot. I mean, to be fair, I, is he was he a mascot to the Spectrum? Probably was because he was there on the uh, obviously you know the Sinclair brand picked him up and stuck him on their stuck him on their uh, cover of a lot of their games. But yet yeah, he did moonlight on the Commodore 64. That was his his little. He went, popped there to be hungry and went skiing there because of course that's all the important things that a big boy needs to do. Um, but but the question is, does 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 he actually does it make him? Does it make him the mascot for the Spectrum? I don't know. I think he's pretty close to being it. I certainly, when I bought the Spectrum, I only thought of um, Horace being a, a Spectrum hero. Don't remember seeing him on much else. So this is uh, our little little uh, little eggy friend with his little eggy lives and his little eggy castle at the back there. Um, which way? Well, it's not his castle. It's, a, it's Horrible Wizard's castle. He's, he's captured all of the yokel folk. Um, as usual, because that's what they do. They always capture all the yokel folk. Whereas uh, uh, when Garth Innes uh, imagined the 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 comic book, the boys, there are no bad guys. There's no villains. Everybody who's got superpowers is in some kind of movie, and all the villains are sort of invented. Um, they they all play movie roles. They are all villains by default. 
but there are no villains because there's no money to be made from being a villain. You can't sell a you can't sell a, a, a sports drink or a or a or a, or a pair of trainers if you're a villain. It's it's much more difficult. So especially if you're doing actual damage. So so they've kind of they kind of they've become those the the sort of the 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 anti hero kind of thing. So there's no villains really because there's no profit in it. In, in in the superhero kind of genre anyway right coffee while we're while we're waiting for dizzy to, to to do his thing come on dizzy do your thing do your thing oh i hope you've got a beverage too there's nothing wrong with a nice drink a cup of tea a cup of coffee a nice beverage a nice a nice uh, a nice uh, cold um um some kind of uh, fizzy fizzy drink some kind of fuzzy pop or even a, or even a, or even a, a nice cold beer or something similar. Something nice, something nice to drink. Something lovely. <laughs> well, I'm thinking about now what what I'm going to do on my uh, my uh, my sort of uh, two week break. There's any particular? I think I'm going to do some Spectrum games. I'm going to do some Commodore 64 games. I'm going to do. Um, I've got quite a lot of Amstrad CPC still waiting, so I probably won't do any of those. Um, I did think about doing a few more of the uh, Amiga 500 or Amiga sort of games. Now that I've got an Amiga 500 Mini, um, they're really good. I think they're great. I, I'm looking forward to do, them doing the whole sort of uh, console computer type thing that they've done previously with the with the with the Maxi. I do, I do. I mean, they, they obviously make money out of these things, and they obviously work quite well. So, so um, I've kind of lost my way though with the Minis. I'm still missing. I'm missing an Astro City um, Mini V, um, which is the vertical version of it. And I'm also mi missing the the Taito. Um, I think it's Erg Erg Erged or something similar. Erged, something like that. Anyway, it's it's. I'm missing that. I want one of those. But the problem with those is if you want the cartridges, because it comes with cartridges as well, all the extra consoles. It's almost the price of the original thing itself. It's like two hundred pounds in there, a hundred pounds a piece. I can't really justify it to be honest with you. Right. Okay. So here we are, the ultimate cartoon adventure from the Oliver Twins. Um. Here is our little, 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 little protagonist. You could have given him red gloves. So. Um. Oh damn. Didn't press the space bar to jump over it. I, I press definitely press space. Don't be nasty. There, I can't believe I lost so many lives. Right, so here's the glue gun, or the grease, the mucky grease gun. You can hold two items up at the top of the screen. You can hold those two items. I've got to avoid these those birds. There's an extra life. Brilliant. Let's use this here, holding that item, move that out the way, and that moves that that moves that out the way and takes us in here. And can't remember what that's for, graveyard key, but we're gonna shift it for the graveyard, I'm assuming. Let's pop plonk it up here. You can only hold one item, sorry, I lie, it's one item. Oh, I can't remember what that is. It's Ghostbusters pack, isn't it, for killing ghosts? I played this a lot back in the day. Yeah, played this a lot. Let's get the extra life. I think we all did. To, I mean, I think, I think, we all kind of, we all kind of liked Dizzy. Really, he was. Uh, he's a. He's a. He's a sort of. As I say, he's a. He's a it's a fair. I mean, to be fair, it's a very competently designed game. It's a very competent approach to to the whole thing. That bird's gonna. Right. Let's let's just go out of the room and come back. Diddle. Let's go this way. I've lost a life again. Oh, there's a raft. I can't remember what you do to get the raft to move. There's something you have to do to make the raft move. Let's go out of here. Let's go down. Ah, Rain Mac. Let's take the plastic Rain Mac. There's a reason to take the plastic Rain Mac because there's a Ghostbuster. Ah, that's right. There's a Ghostbusters thing in this room. My my friend was very much uh, enamoured by the, uh, the, the, uh, the leggy friend here. Um, he used to play it all the time. He was dead, dead. He thought it was, he was, he thought it was one, of, it was one of his favourite games. He used to love it all the time. He was playing it. 
so the rain mac allows us to 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 to, to kill the raindrops they're just over the top of the mountainside we'll see them in a second so i'm going to go up here beautiful graphics they look really good i mean seriously this is a this is a this is a this is a budget title this is this is this is this is a very very and that bird seed it's to kill the birds isn't it that's right there's a rain here we can kill the rain it permanently goes which is a good thing and then we jump on that oh no nearly died uh, permanent but yeah he was he was a big fan of it he used to he used to get them all um and he used to he used to play them all the time oh, let's get this Acme bird seed. This allows us to kill the birds, which is this one. Boom. Do remember some of the things. There's the castle in the sky. And jump over here. I'm going this way because we also need to light up that because oh we need a mixture of that's right we need we need fire for the for the thing as well let's just see if we can kill this bird because i, I want to get rid of as many nasties as possible early on in the game it's amazing how much i remember when i'm playing this there we go got him let's change to this let's get the fire oh and can we what we, burning torch that's what we want oh god I need to go here. To go here. I can't, I can't, it's amazing how much of this I remember. I definitely finished it back in the day. That's on fire now, so we can start putting ingredients in here. I can't remember what all the ingredients are. I think they're listed somewhere. There we go. Jump past. Oh, well, that's right. If you jump in the middle of this, it all collapses. So don't jump in the middle is the answer to that. There's the empty potion bottle that we need to go put on top of a fire. And up there. Is that right? Yeah. It, it goes here basically it's for the it's for making the potion in the end that allows us to kind of stop the uh, the evil the evil wizard doing it's doing his nasty whatever he's doing you've got you you, you know it, you've got to admit it's a very competent looking game it really is a lot better at it than remember yeah, avoid the meatballs yeah if you jump in the middle of that it all disappears Oh, right! Big jump onto that one. Big jump landed on the edge of the water with his with his acrobatics, because all legs are extremely acrobatic, as you know. Um, and it's all over. Yeah, it's not. It really isn't bad. It is. It is. It is worth. If it's worth having any collections, definitely worth playing. But it's all over now, so somebody can sit back and relax. You can skip past however long that was. Ten minutes. Yes, should have said that at the beginning. But anyway, let's let's let us let us go on to see the uh, the the uh, the the. Why does it say Amstrad users only? There's a little star. It says Amstrad users only. Little puff. Why is it also users only for Little Puff? Is Little Puff not on here? It's got to be. Anyway, Spike in Transylvania is next. This is a uh, load of the tape, tape thing. Spike in Transylvania. Um, this is another one of those ones that's very late in the day. Um, I have, I think I've played this on the channel. I'll, I'll be honest. I think, I think I have played it on the whole thing. I can't use Q and I can't use P. Because one's quit and one's whatever else is. So I can't use this. Aim of the game. All Spikey's comrades have been locked away. The Spikey. Spikey is his... Is, 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 he gives normal, his his um, Sunday best name is Spike. But his normal name that he goes by is Spikey. have been locked away um, in a dungeon 
dungeons on the local castle. Spikey must rescue all and, and free all his friends to complete the game. Prison cells are scattered throughout the castle and um, you just find a key to men solve most of the rooms. Fair enough. Music by Anth Ashley Hogg. Yeah, I, I have played this one. Um, for a minute there. Um, I mean, obviously, Spike is wearing his uh, his finest um, um, nappy. Um, <laughs> seems to be missing a leg. Where's his leg? Is it, like, right back behind him? He's got, like, a key in his hand where he's sort of lunging forward. Where's he? Has he got, Spike's only got one leg. Oh, I think it's very good, Spike, to be able to do that. He's only got one leg and one of his horns is missing. Or half his horns missing and he's got some, some bats chasing him. Um, anyway, Codemasters 1991. That's that's this is the this is this this one has been played on the channel. I cannot remember a thing about it. I probably liked it at the time, and I know it's a this one's one of the more expensive ones. It's not impossible to get, but it's more expensive nowadays. It's it's one of those it's one of those ones that people. I don't know. I don't. It's not. They're not. There is a real. There's a, it's an interesting thing. You've got dizzy. You've got Seymour and you've got CJ, and those those are the those are the big what those are the big the most expensive ones now I guess are the are the later dizzies, but Seymour and um, uh, and uh, oh DJ and DJ um, DJ Puff um, or Puff the Puff, little Puff he's also uh, quite a quite yes they managed to make four four sets of sort of semi hero characters I mean this is the point this is nine years old from when the original Spectrum came out at this point. Nine years old. It's a significant length of time. 1991 um, is is almost. It's sort of ten years the era that the Spectrum ran for. It's felt like longer. Maybe that's because we technologically we we were we were we were, we were we, I, don't know, I guess we weren't really. But by 91, I'd already moved on from the Spectrum. I'm afraid. I'd 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 I'd, I'd my Spectrum ties had, had ended. I was onto uh, I was onto a Commodore Amiga. Um, loading from floppy disks, you know, much faster. Those high-quality, crisp gla graphics. Those uh, games like Supremacy. Um, did you? When, when did you all move on? Did you move on in the night at the end of the eighties, sort of early nineties? I bet most of you did. I mean, I also had I also had Mega Drives by this soon by this point. I had um, um, the 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 NES by this point. I'd seen. I don't think it was not long. It wasn't far in the future that we had the. Uh, the Neo Geo AES system, that, that, um, something that that to this day I still lust for, but I I, I know fine well that I, I could never really afford to own one because they're just such an expensive uh, console. And it'll be the thing is it'll be one of those ones I'd want to collect for, and it's it's at sort of ten to fifteen thousand pounds for some of the cartridges nowadays. It's almost it's it's un it's unreachable. It's not a it's not a machine that I would. It would be something I'd want to collect for. It's something to want to play. But I'd never be able to get to it. They were just amazing, weren't they? I mean, back in the day, the, the, the games were sort of, even then, even to loan them were sort of £120 a piece. I remember playing Last Resort, which is sort of a, an R-type clone. Well, it's not sort of, it is an R-type clone. And it was, oh, oh, it was brilliant. It was so good, was the last resort. It was. It's a, such a good. It's on. I've got. Uh, search my channel. I've got a copy of. I've got. I've got it on there. Just really. I really enjoyed it. Very very hard shoot 'em up. Um, beautifully crafted levels. Fantastic game. Really good. I mean, uh, the, you know, SNK, who now, unfortunately, owned by a by a by a. Um, I think it's a Saudi Arabian um, prince owns SNK, which is kind of weird. Um, but but at the same time they do tend to buy a lot of things these people from the, with, with lots of money, um, but you know football clubs and things I wouldn't I wouldn't have thought SNK was a particularly big target but anyway there's a I suppose it's the back catalogue of games that you can get access to, but yeah it was really 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 sort of um, you know the, the the device itself and and the thing the games that they brought to the market were just phenomenal. I quite like Robo Army, or is it Robo Army? Yeah, Robo Army. I quite like that. And even Eight Man, which is a bit ridiculous the way it runs along, is quite good. It's quite a good, and that that of course that that series of beat 'em ups from uh, the art of fighting to 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 Samurai Showdown to 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 um, perf uh, World Heroes. Oh, World Heroes is such a spectacularly 
um, under an uh, undervalued, I think, um, beat 'em up title, and their the, their artists they had at the time with the graphically were just were just phenomenal. Were just phenomenal. Right, I'm gonna have a drink of coffee. Hang on a minute. Original version by Dave Clark. So it must have been exported from another machine, probably the Commodore 64, possibly. Mm. There's the rooms. I do remember the rooms. It's like a little. It's like a little. Um, it's like a little Viking, realistically. Oh, they, yeah, they're fine. Q A O P and space to, to fire. Yes, they're fine. One for keyboard. Oh, here he is. There's a little Viking. I can't pick up that on the floor. I was trying to. Oh, okay. Door doesn't seem to open, right? Okay, so do I need to pick up this? How do I pick that up? That's the door handle, clearly. See that on the floor? It's a door handle. Oh, it took it took a while, but I got it. So doorknob. There, I've opened the door. Right, okay. Can I... Oh, whatever's on the floor has disappeared. So there's rats there. Can't go in there. Go rescue my friends without getting eaten by rats. What are you going to say? Oi. I'm absolutely starving. Is that his name? It's a good name. Absolutely starving. You can't come in here. It's private property. Why not? I want to go in there. Right, so I'm going to have to get him some some food. I've got some pair of gloves. I got a pair of gloves. I'll avoid the rats. I've got some gloves. Uh, what's that? On the f There's something on the road there. Granny Haggard's uh, Haggard's hovel. And some cash. Let's have the cash. Trying to get in Granny's bed. Ooh, uh. Lucky Granny. Um, okay, that worked well. Oh, do I have to push up and down or something? There's a number, look. One to... whatever. Up. Ah, that's how you do it. Right. So you press the fire and then up to fix it up. Look, fire and up picks it up. But firing left and right moves you through the numbers at the bottom right-hand corner for what you pick up. Right, okay, that makes more sense. So I've got a pair of gloves, I've got some cash, and I'm assuming we can bribe our way into the building. Let's see what else is this way. Let's have a look at the abandoned shack and see if there's anything in there. There's a guy who was absolutely starving. There is some meat now. Oh, I ate it instead. Uh, how do I fire that, then? There's a thing there to fire. In the abandoned shack, there's a... Have I got anything to fire with it? No. That's... They could obviously got to break that rock. For some reason. And we're in the bar. Let's go to the bar. Sorry, mate. You can't come in here without a tie. By the order of the king. So I need a king, king's, king's ordered tie to get in there. I wonder if I can go any further, or is that it? Yeah, that's it. Right, so I'm going to go bribe this man with some money now. See if I can get in the castle. This is what we need to do, get a bit of castle action going. Oh, I'm going to recommend, by the way, if you haven't seen it, there's a new uh, there's a new movie out, sort of action movie, uh, Finnish movie called, uh, um, uh, I'm guessing it's Sisu, Sisu, um, um, highly recommend that if you haven't seen it already, um, it, it, oh, King, I'll just let you through this time, right, okay, so, uh, yeah, definitely worth watching that one, I watched it the other day, I was utterly, I, it was utterly brilliant, it's bonkers action movie um sort of uh 
gold miner and Nazis and commando esque behaviour. It's bonkers, but bonkers good. Definitely worth watching. Visually, a feast, an absolute feast to, to watch. Um, I loved it. Loved the loved the uh, the Finnish countryside. It was really nice. Yeah, it's pretty good actually. I'm I'll. Oh, it's something to eat, was it? All right. Yeah, it was really good, though. Worth worth watching. I'm, I'm just thinking about people who are... Oh! Bottle of toad juice. There's a key there. That's food. Okay. It's really... It's not bad. It's just not brilliant. It's all right. I think, though, again, you know, like a lot of things, if you got this as a budget title, you'd have been like, "Yeah, it's not bad. It's a good. It's a good budget title. You've got your money's worth with this budget title." I'm gonna run past all these guys. You can't run off there. I thought I could. Couldn't. Let me get out. Can we run across the top of here? I can. What do you want? Maybe I can give you some toad juice. Would you like some toad juice? Take a book of spells. Defeat the... Um, defeat the mix... And that's it. Take a book of spells. And a deafened bat. Mix the juice of toad. And that's that. Right, okay. A deafened bat. I don't know how you deafen a bat. Bats in a bell three kind of things, isn't it? Again, budget title would have been alright if you got this. It's weird though, because I would call him an old Viking. The one on the front cover is kind of, kind of youthful Viking. Um, a sort of youngish man, sort of um, doing Viking things. I'm going right downstairs. <laughs> Yep, he's got me. There's another key. I don't like the way those things bleed above the doors. They're, they're horrible. There's another key. With the whole thing. Another, 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 another. Yeah. Not sure. Yeah, it's graphically, it's sound. I, I think... I. I think you all made the right choice with this one. Those those who chose this made the right choice. It looks good and it plays nicely. Yeah, I've died a lot, but but it's good. You got to help your friends in the dungeon. There's a key to get one. I guess this one gets this guy. Is there one here? I got a key. Oh, there's something across the gap there. Yeah, I think you. I think you'd have been quite happy with this if you played it back in the day. Yeah, I think I, I do. I think I think I think I, I think I, I probably said that first time I played it. I'll be honest. I'll probably say I probably said that before. I probably said that, that that if you'd got this back in the day, you'd have been quite impressed with that. I think I think I think we would have been. We were. We weren't. And and to be fair, we weren't. We were. I think we realised that we weren't going to get what was on the cover most of the time, and that that's true. You you don't expect to get what's on the cover. You expect to get you know what you get. Um, not sure what's next on here actually. Oh, there's no little puff on this. There's slightly magic and CJ's. Was that on the front cover? That little puff. No, it wasn't. Right. Ah, right. Okay. I know. That's why I was surprised because it says in the in the manual, um, Amstrad only, and I'm like, oh, okay. So this is CJ the Elephant. Again, another one of those ones that kind of became a a semi mascot of the whole thing. And of course, little little Puff did anyway. And and, and I think DJ Little Puff is is really really sort of uh, um, sought after. It's a uh, it, he's a uh, he's a uh, he's a uh, obviously it's the sort of Puff the Magic Dragon, isn't it? It's it's the uh, it's the it's the um, the dragon type thing from that 
And of course, and of course, uh, I'm sure that Magic Dragon was a, was a reference to drugs at one point. I think it was, wasn't it? That's the, it's one of these weird things, isn't it? It's a sort of seen as sort of a you know a child's like song, and I think I think there was a there was a there was a drug related reference. I might be completely wrong with that, but that's what I always thought there was. Um, but but yeah, this this I'm quite I'm a straight straight sort of way. I'm not I'm unhappy that Puff hasn't turned up. Puff unfortunately is as now is now suffering from the 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 um, being of a time with its with its with its visuals. Its visuals are that of uh, a, 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 a kind of. Um, culturally incorrect very politically incorrect they probably weren't particularly correct at the time but uh, the visuals on the uh, original game were like that it's quite a bit bit sort of that um, that 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 term uh, stereotypical um, what they thought was uh, an African person so 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 uh, quite kind of on the cover of it did it did just it just I, I guess it, did, it changed was that the cartoon version of it as well it's like the because like Codemasters had this like subcategory in there like cartoon time wasn't it, it was really weird I don't know what what that was about I think this is maybe when Codemasters started to uh, focus on their 16-bit games and their sort of uh, their their their, their um, you know Commodore Atari ST Mega Drive games did they do it much for the the NES the Super NES I can't remember if they did much for those I can't remember Elephant Antics is this the one where he drops out the plane I'm going to read this now I'm going to have a little look I'm not sure uh, story so far somewhere over France an airplane carrying CJ Elephant was captured Oh yes, this is it. So it's, it's over France. The the French are to blame for this. So so not not content with the sheep, um, the French have, have have captured a plane that was was full of animals, which nowadays you can't see in the zoo. In the future, I think zoos are going to be uh, filled with uh, with um, people pretending to be uh, elephants and things like that nowadays. Not that I'm, I'm suggesting that zoos are a good thing, but I suspect that the future of it is there's just going to be people pretending or film footage of the of the animals. So. Um, Anyway, um, the, 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 let's you know, let's not discuss how sometimes zoos were responsible for sort of like the 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 the, the, the fact that the panda is no longer extinct, which is a shame because I'm not a big fan of pandas. But 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 no longer extinct. Well, let's not look at those 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 factors. Then I know that all zoos are like that, but but there's the small percentage that are bad, good percentage that are good, and it's a good percentage that are really good. Um, but anyway, so um, yes, the, the the French have have, have stolen the airplane that contained um, CJ's entire family, um, and um, Olaf from uh, from Frozen has appeared as well. Same with uh, with uh, with the lad from uh, um, um, Bubble Bob from uh, from Rainbow Islands. He's there. He's uh, now going to uh, be coshing small animals and rodents. Um, and <laughs> So, what's he going to do with that sort of... Is that is that gonna, is he going to hit him with a kosh? Is that what it is? Those were quite of extreme, weren't they, koshes? They were kind of a bit of an extreme... It was, usually, it was like almost like effectively a lead bar and a bit of... With it wrapped around with something where you wallop them with, with somebody with it. I mean, it's going to do a lot of damage regardless, wasn't it? A little heavy iron bar or something similar. Yeah, so, so something like that. Something along the way, but... Um, yeah... I hope you've all had a lovely week. I've had a, I've had a, I've had a busy, a busy week um, as usual. Very good week though. Um, I, I spent, I spent the evening uh, just last night, and that's probably why I'm a little bit, le probably less um, excited than usual with my, 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 my video. on oh, probably not. Probably hasn't affected me at all to be honest with you. I went out for a, for a, for a, for a, for a nice curry with a, with a friend and 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 and, and, and another friend uh, to sort of celebrate very sedately. His thirtieth uh, birthday. How can you stately, um, uh, you know, do a thirtieth birthday? So, but yeah, we had we had a we had a good good sort of three hours out. Had a lovely 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 curry, and it was it was it was nice. I haven't had one for a while actually. That out and about, usually sort of, use I, I don't know. Well, I say that I've been, I've had one recently, but 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 but, but not like within this year. Had one like the end of the year last year, but anyway. So um, yeah, I, I I I got a nice curry. I got a balti. I like a balti. I just wanted something simple. I was actually I was toying with a madras because I I like a bit of hot. I like a bit of heat. I can even do vindaloo, but 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 I know the secret 
or I feel it's the secret of uh, eating uh, particularly hot food, that is to avoid water at all costs. Water and beverages and beer. So so if I do get something that hot, I'll, I'll often, because people are like, oh, you'll never manage that. It's so hot or whatever else. And there's always a point to be proven with this thing, which is that uh, if you don't eat, if you don't drink any sort of beverages or something similar, it doesn't it doesn't really kind of kick in until that enough fluid hits it to do something. So anyway, here we go. I quite like the site title bit of that when it pops up like that. It's a big red software again. Dave Clark conversion. Another Dave Clark game. Did Dave Clark do a lot of games for um, the the Spectrum somewhere else? This has appeared again on my channel. Um, it's the 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 movement is a bit it's a bit ragged, really. It's the, the scrolling's not the best, not for Spectrum anyway. Rolls per screen, and I can shoot. So, pop! I have died. I'm gonna jump up here. It's got an, it's a reasonable soundtrack. The scrolling is horrendous, though. This, I think, appeared on the Commodore Amiga and the Atari ST as well, actually. Pretty convinced it did. They probably didn't have to deal with this uh, scrolling. As a poodle, I shot the poodle in the behind and and didn't realise about the, the things on the floor. Oh, damn. It's kind of, um, what's the game I want to think of here? It's kind of New Zealand Story. Oh, God. I don't remember all, so many blooming traps. Yeah, it's kind of New Zealand Story. With its approach. I've got some bombs now. Oh, there's a bomb. You can throw them. No. Oh, I picked it up again. Get that dog. Boom. I don't think it killed it. Just did whatever else. But it reminds me of New Zealand Story. New Zealand Story had was a is a, it's a funny one that. I don't know about anybody else, but if you've ever done a video on New Zealand Story on the on the old the uh, the old you the, the old tubes, um it tends to get ten teams tend to, to get demonetized. It's really weird that. I don't know why it gets demonetized, it's just it's just it's oh damn. Because it gets a bit silly later here. I think we end up with... Uh... Um, how do I get up there? I can't remember how you get up there. Yeah, I can't remember how you get up there. Oh, there. It's that platform over there, look. It's this one. Don't shoot me. Stop shooting me. I want to shoot you because you've been shooting at me. Oh, no. I think it gets a bit silly when you're on here. That, that's a little, the, the, the French, French, French uh, um, constabulary. Oh, I've got another cup of coffee. I'm a, I'm a lucky boy today. Must have been a good boy today. Um, hang on, another, hang on. I don't, not, of, of all, of the games we've played so far, I'm, I'm going to go with Seymour at the movies, probably my favourite thus far, Dizzy second, um, and then Spike is probably the third. This is probably, the, this is probably running at the moment, um, I'm, I'm going to go with last, because I don't know what the last one game is, but we need to have a little look. I will go. I'm gonna go over the top of here. Yeah, I'm gonna go over the top of here. I just don't like the scrolling on this. It's naff, naff scrolling. Yeah, I, I, I could definitely take and leave that one. That's not a. That's not. That's not a. That's not one I'm. I'm big keen on. Let's see what the last one's like. The last one being... Slightly Magic. I can't remember Slightly Magic. I think it's... Pl I, again, another one I think is fe featured on the channel. 
but uh, but but I, I don't know. I hope I mentioned in the before. If there's anything you want me to to try, I think I did say this though. But you know, if there's anything you want me to try or suggest I try during the, the time I have a little break, what I normally do is I take like a whole weekend off um, from 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 recording anything, and uh, and then I take one weekend where I sort of have a, an absolute blitz of uh, various games just to try try various ones out and have some fun. And it just is fun. It is. It is. I mean, I've been doing a lot of um, bonus Monday videos recently. That's simply because. I'd rather enjoy playing some games, and I'm just sort of going, yeah, I'll just record it while I'm at it, and I'm chatting away anyway, so I might as well sort of um, record it and let you see it. So, so if there's anything you think I should really, really get my teeth into, um, and I haven't already played it before on the channel, feel free to, to let me know in the comments. I don't mind repeating a few as well, because there are what I would call a, a few revisits. I quite like a revisit. There's nothing wrong with a revisit. I've revisited um, Oh Mummy at least once, twice. I've revisited um, um, Trashman a couple of times. I love Trashman. Cracking game. Can't beat a bit of Trashman. I don't even remember this loading screen. It's a rather nice looking loading screen there. By Colin Jones. Astonishing animations and Codemasters. See, they must have got a lot of these things pushed out. They weren't doing it in house anymore. They became a publisher, didn't they? Anyway, um, so uh, yeah, there was, a, there was a there's a lot of there's a lot of great stuff that's actually out there that that, that I have not played. There are hundreds and hundreds of games. I got um, uh, Livingston, I presume, the other day, which is quite an expensive game. Um, so I got that the other day. I got a few other things the other day. Um, I picked up I picked up a whole bunch of things. I do like to show those off in the uh, the community side of the whole thing. I got. Uh, Big Bad John, which is fantastic. That's Harry Price. Um, Harry Price is, uh, is 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 renowned for his uh, um, effectively just re-editing the graphics in somebody else's game and then reselling it. I have no idea what Big Bad John was or what what game he stole for that because um, let's just be honest, he just reskinned it. It's like an, it's like the early asset swappers of the uh, of the of the current sort of computer generations. He just just swapped all the assets and went. It's the same game, but but not, you know. So um, Harry was a, Harry was a, was a legend, um, a absolute legend. I wonder what happened to Harry. I hope he didn't go into banknotes later in his life instead, instead of computer games. He reforged them or re-edited them all, stuck stuck somebody else's face on the, you know, put put uh, put instead of the the queen on the front of it, he put like Madonna or something similar, and then tried to sell it. And he's now currently in spending, you know. 20 years at Her Majesty's Pleasure or something similar. I don't know. He might, he might, he might, he might, uh, he might not be. Um, he's probably going to have a wonderful life some ways. Very good at forging lottery tickets, especially winning ones or something similar. <laughs> probably works for one, a very large uh, um, software developer or something similar. Probably, you know, I don't know. You, God knows. I have no idea. Just, just really weird what's going, you know, the... Um, but he, yeah, he did a lot of those things. But Big Bad John, what a cover that was! Oh, honestly, it's on my uh, community page. You must have a look at it. It kind of reminds me of the the part of um, Back to the Future where Marty dresses in the nuclear his nuclear sort of hazard suit while that you know that he has, and and comes and sees his and comes and sees his his dad and sort of scares him straight about writing a book and all this kind of stuff and asking his his mother to be out, um, and it kind of. It's it's such a strange thing, but it but it but it but it but it reminds me of how the cover comes out in the end. It sort of reminds me of that. But somebody else mentioned it and said it's a bit Breaking Bad, and I thought, yeah, you're kind of right. It's got that kind of Breaking Bad look to it. It's kind of cool though. So so it's just a it's an isometric though. That's the only thing. But the cover was just amazing. I had to buy it for the cover. It was only a couple of quid as well. I was like, wow, really? So 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 I had to buy it for the cover. Got I love I love a, 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 a sort of a great sort of stylish cover, and they really were good at doing that back in the eighties. I mean the, the the current trend of it is really is these all these B and B movies. They kind of do the same sort of thing. They, they, they kind of do that kind of um, trendy cover. I've got quite a lot of B movies. I love a bit of B movie. I've, I, I'm a, I'm a bit of a a bit of a I, I was. I, I don't like to think of it as being, you know, the people saying a movie buff or something similar. I'm not quite a movie buff. I just like watching movies. I watch, I'll watch anything, um, um, and, and and I quite quite enjoy watching anything and just saying, oh, that's good or that's bad, you know. So 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 I I can't, you know, it's it's back to me, my beast of bunny. What was the other one I saw recently? I had, oh, oh, um, was it? Head of the family, yeah, you must you must look that one up. That's uh, that's um, a 1996 
sort of horror comedy thing. Yeah, Head of the Family. That's that's insane. That's that's weird. It kind of reminds me of um, Marvel's own character, is it Mordok? But it's but it's before Mordok was thing with in the movie. Somebody kind of created a head of the family, and he's able to control the rest of his family members with his brain. And it's and they're they're all kind of weird. It's it's honestly it's 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 very nineties. The trailer itself is just worth the watch just for the fun of it. So uh, uh, Mel LaBelle who's in the comments below. I'm sure Mel will pick this one up, and he'll be Mel will be Mel 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 can post it. He has a, he loves he loves a, he loves a, a B movie too. So so yeah, that one. Head of the Family just looks like a classic to me. I, I must, I must find somewhere to watch that because I think that'll be awesome. So this is the just took terrible but brilliant at the same time. I do like terrible but brilliant. Those are some of the best. Battle Beyond the Stars was not a good movie realistically. Um, so or should I say it was a great movie. It was just very B movie. And I loved it. I loved Battle Beyond the, Beyond the Stars. And then of course those those sci fi effects were then reused in tons of other movies. There's at least five or six movies that use the same kind of ship effects as Battle Beyond the Stars, but they were really good. Anyway, coffee. I've got more coffee. I have fresh coffee. Mmm. Oh, is it always better when somebody else makes the coffee for you? I think it is. I think it's always better than when coffee's made for you. I, do you know something though? I still hold with my original, my original thing. I mean, I, if, if, if I had to choose somewhere to get my coffee from, I think I'd be at the, uh, the, 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 the old Costa probably, combined with, with probably Greg's as a close second if, if, if I have to, and then, and then probably the, 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 uh, the, the Starbucks of the world if I have to uh, later on. I do prefer to try to find a barista that does the, 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 the bit, uh, you know, the, uh, who's not so, so, so sort of so corporate, but. Um, you know, that's the kind of the order. I kind of like. I kind of like them, to be honest with you. They're kind of nice coffee. I mean, you can't beat a sort of um, some of these these sort of mixes you can get from sort of you know um, vanilla latte or something similar, or caramel latte. Love one of those, or a latte itself. Beautiful, fantastic stuff. Slightly magic. Here we go. There's a dragon over there. Look, and there's a Cheshire cat in the tree because because of course no game would be complete without a treasure a treasure. A treasure cat, yes, a treasure cat. The cat that carries treasure around with it. They've got small saddlebags on each side of them that they uh, carry those things around with. And um, let's look at the keys. They are Z, X, K, M, space. Okay. What am I meant to do? I'm rescuing a beautiful princess. Princess Croak. She sounds. She sounds. She sounds delightful, Princess Croak. Right. Press space. Read the spell book. Gain. Uh, collect the one to gain magic powers. Combine the spells. Boo with matching objects to make them work. That looks like little puff. Hick. Yikes. Well, the ki I don't recognise this game at all. I don't write, recognise slightly magic at all. I'm, I can't go into the dragons. Flea caller. I'm thirsty. Uh, I picked up a bucket of water. I don't understand. Uh, when he sit, when he ducks down, he disappears in his cloak. Oh, this is gorgeous! That must be the princess croak at the top there. Look, she's beautiful. It's all those features, those curves. She's a lovely lady. Right, okay, let's just ignore princess croak. I've got to get spell... Ah, spell book's up there. How do I get up there? Do I... Oh, hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Table. No. Jump the table. No. Bucket of water. 
That's not my bucket. Oh, okay. Must be this one's bucket. Is it your bucket? Hick. Bucket of water. There's a great steam and hissing of the young dragon's thirst is quenched. So I can go past him now. Aha. Uh -huh. That one's got fleas. I know it. You lose a life. I have not played this one before. I know I haven't. I'm thinking of another game. Let's use the flea color on him. Nope. He's not a flea colored dragon. Alright, so there's a bucket of water. You've got to use the right buckets of the right dragon. Because they... Obviously, they wouldn't possibly drink the wrong... Okay. Try that bucket of water. Yeah, that's not my bucket of water. Right, okay. I'll pick it up then. Just leave me alone. Can't believe we're not going to be able to get anywhere close to Princess Croak. I'm, 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 I'm smitten. I've seen her. Honestly, I'm liking this one. Okay, that makes CJ's the last in the the, the, the thing. So we feed me. What does he want? Fed. Rocky. What do you want? Red. Fed. Nothing. There's a cheap rate phone call. That's a bit cheap by putting it on there. Phone here. Don't ask your parents permission at all. No parents are required to phone up a premium rate number. I'm going to pick up that. That bucket is the right colour bucket for this dragon over here. So you've got to give the dragons the right colour buckets. There you go. That'll put him out. That's quenched his thirst. Right, let's get in here. Oh, that's the right bucket for him. Sorry, I didn't even realise that. Oh, he hasn't quenched his first thirst, though. Oh, it's annoying. But he's got F on him. I think that's flea. I thought that was a flea bag. Wouldn't you? I'm going to leave that bucket of water there. No, I can't jump up there. That's quite good, actually. Can I just use the flea collar on you? No. Hang on, where's your bucket of water, then? I can't get past you until I've got your bucket of water. So the only other option is to fall off the level. I can't get the magic book there. You can see the magic book flashing up towards the, to the top right. Then there's the, the, the wand a little further down. But how do we get to the wand? That skull kill me? Yeah, it does. Spiked. You lose a life. Yeah, okay. Are they rocks? I'll take some rocks. Rocky or wants rocks. Pile of stones. Yum. Thanks, Rocky. So, Rocky wants rocks. Some stars flashing in the sky here, look. What do they mean? Huh. Ah! Nope, flea colours don't work. Try to sneak underneath it, I can't do that. Spiked. Oops. If you need help, phone the premium rate number right here, right now, kids. That's what I quite like. That that's quite good. I'm, right, okay. So, so if, if we're going to rank these in order, I think I'm going to go with um, Seymour number one. 
I think I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go with this as uh, my sort of joint number two with Dizzy. Then we're gonna go with our with our sort of with Spike, and then very last is CJ's antics because I actually think you got you didn't get your money's worth with CJ's antics. So it's way you've definitely got your money's worth with with these, and they definitely seem to work up to being fairly logical in what they do. Anyway, um, I've been your host, Real Gene Demon. Thank you for watching. I'll be back in two weeks' time. Um, just let me know in the comments below if there's anything you want me to try and cover in between, and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye now.